Yo, what is going on guys, Many here, and we are back with some more Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today we have the Plumstead Challenge Cup against Metro Gas. Only one previous fixture between both sides in which we actually came out victorious. Here are the highlights. The lineup for today's game is like this. John in goal, Georgia right back, Tolu and Reggie centre back, left back Qualms. In midfield we have Marcel, Eric and Eze. At wide on the right is Sam, over on the left is Femi and striker for us today is Thomas. On the bench we have Vance because he's coming late from work. We've got Jed, we've got Benny and Fred who's just returning from injury. Firstly, what a day it is today. A chance for us to do un things that are unheard of, okay? Unheard of. We have to remember our standards last week was set here. Can we match that today? Can we? Understand, again, I say it every week, is yes, it's a cup game, but do we feel pressure on cup games? Yeah. Do we need to feel pressure on cup games? How many times have you been here before us? Okay? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. Okay? But honestly boys, like, I'm, not, I'm really not going to speak too much today. But I want you not to understand. Minimum, minimum, minimum is hard work. Okay? Bare minimum. Don't be f***ing lazy today. Because if you are, I promise you you'll get dragged. I promise you. Because I cannot accept bare minimum today. Okay? Talking throughout the game. Laziness is not accepted ex by any of you, okay? But remember, it's a flipping cup final. We want all the cup. We said that at the start of the season. We want everything we're in. They took one from us. They can't take another one. They won't take another one. Because we'll flipping through it today. Danny. Um, boys, I don't think too much needs to be said, to be honest. We've been here how many times in the last few weeks? We know the settings, we know the pitch a little bit better, but I think. At the end of the day, when it comes to especially teams like this, the thing that they're gonna bring is a little bit of technique and work rate. But we know that, like Marv said, we have to outdo them. The bare minimum is that we work hard. And I think sometimes for some of us, we feel as if our place is cemented, as if we should be playing every second of every game. But the only way you can show that is by working hard and showing that you are indispensable to the team. So go out there, just enjoy yourselves. We, we know this occasion. I think the last round of this is where we uh, dropped the three goal lead against Borden. Some people will be questioning why we are in this final. But well, we're here now, let's show them why. We did it last time we came out on this pitch, let's do it again. Simple as. Uh, hello boys. Can I, can I just give you some information? Sorry, Church. <clears throat> Play on the front foot today. Play on the front foot. The moment you score one, two, their hearts break quite quickly and it showed in the last game we played them. Do things with good, with good intentions, intent. Intensity, tempo, everything. Today is about you lot showing why you are the elite <coughs> and bless you. Showing why you, you lot are the elite and why they're young boys. Are we clear? It's levels. It's showing the experience you lot have and doing the right things. Attack with intent. Get Thomas on the ball. Are we clear? Yep. Alright, same every week. Can we test this keeper? Test him. Take shots. I, I honestly feel like we, in our first half against Basel, we talk about six, six shots and scored, what, two? One. Can we test keepers more? Stop being scared. Look, we te Femi shot was our first shot on, on, on goal last week. That was what, 15 minutes in? Come on. Okay? But, I, I say it again, I'll say this, this is my last word. Play the game, not the occasion. Toast. Boys, remember when we do this thing, when we did UTR on the we don't do it just for show, we do it because we're together, we're a family. We've been a family for, not just UTR, we've been a family for, like I said last week, 15 years, 10 years, 3 years. When we go out on that pitch, we have to show how together we are. We know we, how each other play, we have fun when we play with each other. Last week, you man was smiling, today's another week. Yesterday, young boys, they say it's a man's game, today's a UTR game. Today we move the ball, mm -hmm. we, we let them know what they're in for. First minute, somebody go through somebody. Mm -hmm. Let them know this is no walk in the park. Everybody can talk. 
but it's time to do the business boys. Three mm. trophies at the end of it. Remember, hard work today, that's another trophy in the cabinet. And it sets us up right for Sunday. Every man together, yeah? One, two, three! Yeah! One, two, three! Yeah! One, two, three! Yeah! Three, yeah! Three, yeah! Okay, this is three out of three finals at VCD Athletic. And uh, yeah, we've won two out of three so far. Let's make it three out of three. Let's go for the hat trick. UTR in the gold and black. Metro Gas in the white and blue. And we are almost ready for kickoff. Uh, Metro Gas, as far as I know, are also unbeaten in their league so far. And uh, yeah, it makes it a team of the uh, a game of the unbeaten teams basically in their leagues anyway. Uh, UTR still yet to lose in 90 minutes uh, in the last two years. So could this be the day? Metro Gas will be pumped for it. Let's get into the game. Thomas at the halfway line, the referee blows his whistle and we are underway. It's uh, Eric playing it out to Quams, a little bit of a loose touch initially. And uh, it looks like they're gonna want to press us high and we'll see how it goes as the game goes on. Sam on the ball, uh, on the right, he's got George in support, holding off his man. He's got a few shirts to get around. He uh, eventually draws the foul and to be fair, that's impatient defending. Sam will then take the free kick. We've got plenty of numbers in the boxes in towards the back post and uh, no one can get on the end of it. Tolu closest, but not close enough. Marcel uh, plays it to Eric, looks to drop the shoulder, just about escaping from the number seven. He's got Quams making a run down this left-hand side, tries to go for the outside of the boot pass, doesn't really work and it's a good challenge from the Metro Gas defender. It's going back to them, uh, cleared up the pitch by the 11, flicked on by the number nine. Uh, it's gone back to Reggie. Uh, I think Tolu's just going down there and uh, it seems like he's gotten a knock in the mouth there from the number nine. And uh, you know Tolu, Tolu's a big, strong guy, very physical, aggressive, will give it and will take it as well. And uh, I think he's got a, a massive knock there in his teeth. I think he's knocked his tooth back and it doesn't look too good. Hopefully he won't have to come off. We're back into play. Uh, Tolu has indeed come back onto the pitch. It's come here to the number two though. John's come rushing out over to the 12. And it's an open goal for them. We did have players on the line, but no one could stop it. And uh, we find ourselves within the first 10 minutes down by a goal. Sloppy defending. We've left the two unmarked for some reason. I don't know if we're startled by the injury to Tolu there, but uh, our marking there is totally wrong. Kwam's left his man, I believe, at the back post. I think he came across. Uh, to try and help out, but indeed that was not the case. Uh, it didn't help us at all. Comes across to the two. He sweats it back to the 12. It's an open goal. You can tell by the noise, they've brought family, friends, and a, a huge crowd with them today. Plenty of people who come here to see UTR lose, and hopefully that will not be the case. But we're gold down, and it's not a good position to be in ever. Hopefully, regardless of his tooth being out of place, the skipper can continue and see the 90 minutes out is a big, big part of our side. To be honest, if there's anyone on the team who's going to try and continue for a game like that, it's Tolu. That's a nice feet there from the 12. Good dribbling. Looks to push it away from Reggie. It's knocked it out of play. Reg on the ball. Plenty of space afforded. Looks to get one in behind. The Metro Gas defence is going to hold up here for Kwams. He's got Femi in support. Can he use him? Decides to use Femi. Femi, can he get something off? Uh, last time he cut inside and let a shot off. This time he's gone to the left. Looks to get in behind and it's out for a corner. Eze on that corner. Curls it in. Right footed. Reggie's jumping highest and uh, he doesn't get the connection he needs. It's uh, Femi on the ball. Uh, looks to get away from the seven, which he does very easily. Goes to let the shot off and it's blocked. Metro Gas looking to bring the ball forward. Eric's interception fails. It's uh, here with the number 12 who's gotten the goal and he started pretty lively for them. Quams is back to try and stop him from getting any further. Seven tries to knock around the corner, but only out of play. Quams with a throw in into Eric's chest. Uh, brings it down and plays a little one-two of Quams. Uh, can we build an attack from this? It's uh, Eric into Femi. Good challenge there from the four. It's onto the 14. 12 there does well to get away from Eze and Eze pulls his shirt back. He'll be lucky to get away without a card here. He did indeed escape without a card. Eric shapes the shoot and skips past the number seven. Plays it into Femi's feet. Uh, he looks to return the favour by completing the one-two. Eric has numbers in the box. Looks to get one in. It's blocked by the four and behind for a corner. That's better. Eze on the corner then. Again, looking deep towards the back post. Uh, Peepers missed it and Tolu jumping highest. But it's nowhere near the goal. Played out from the back into the seven. Uh, pressed by Quams. It's going to be flicked around the corner. A little bit of fortune about that pass maybe from the number 12. But it's here with the number two who's steaming forward. Looks to get one into the box and straight into John's hands. Could have been in trouble there. Quams trying to get up the pitch and get us back into the game. It's into Femi. They're claiming that it's gone out of play, which it's never really done. Uh, Femi able to cut inside there and draw the free kick uh, from the foul uh, by the number five. Sam to take this free kick. It's left footed, it's high, behind, and nowhere near any UTR shirts. And supporters for Metro Gas letting us know what they feel about that one. 
Still uh, no real uh, chances made by UTR. We're trying to get back into the game. It's almost 20 minutes have been played. This is good work from Thomas there. Strong play. Uh, plays it out wide to Femi. Being chased by the number five. Can he get away? It's another UTR corner. Ez with yet another attempt. Looking again for that same area. Reggie and Marcel, uh, not for the first time this game, getting in each other's ways. Kwam's in possession. Eric in quite a bit of space and usually you don't want to give him that. But this time he's lost possession. He's missed his touch there. And Metro Gas retrieve it pretty quickly. Number 12 flicks it through the legs of Tolu there. A little bit fortunate about it, but he's dropped the shoulder. Gets towards the box and his shot is saved off the crossbar by John. And that could have been 2-0. We would have been 2-0 down. Nice improvisation from the 12 to flick it through Tolu's legs. Uh, shimmies to get away from George there. Takes a strike. It's a very good strike on the left foot. And yet again, John in the finals turning up big. A very, very good save. Seven on the delivery. That's a great ball into the box, into a dangerous area. And it's come through, missed a few bodies. Uh, Tolu swiped at it and it's gone behind for a corner. We had our little spell and they're looking to get back on top. It's a ball into the box, dealt with by Tolu. They've just won the first ball. It's come here to the 12, who's uh, started the game really well. Goes for a right-footed shot this time. And it's not that far off, but I think if it was on target, it would have been easy for John. It's been thrown into the number nine, who's uh, trying to hold it up against Reggie and Quams. They've teamed up well to relieve him of possession, though. Eze is going to let this one run to Sam. Uh, Sam looks to find the run of Thomas, who's surely got the beating of this number five. He's charging forward down this left-hand side. He's got Femi in support, maybe. Cuts it back inside like Toby against Bayswater. Uh, will he do the same thing and look for a shot? No, he's gone for a pass. Plays it into Eze. Eze, one touch to take it, and a second one to smash it, smash it in at the near post. And that's three goals in three finals for Eze. And he's clearly a man for the big games. That's another very, very good goal as well. The one against Jam was fantastic. The penalty against Bayswater was nice too. Uh, lovely work from Thomas here. And Eze caps off his third final for UTR with a beautiful goal. One touch to flick it around the corner and the left foot strike to keep that one low is not very easy. What a goal. It really is game on for sure. Marcel goes in there and wins the ball. Uh, Femi clipped by the number two. Easy decision, free kick. Standing over this free kick, we have Femi and Sam. Uh, Metro Gas trying to sort out their defensive situations. We've got a few numbers in the box. Got the big boys forward, Tolu, Reggie, Thomas as well. It's going there, Reggie jumps in at the back post. Comes to Marcel! And that is 2-1. What a time to get your first UTR goal. The spectators don't like it, but they didn't come to see us. It is 2-1 to UTR and we've turned it around. Just before the half hour mark, Marcel getting his first goal for us. And I asked him a few weeks ago against Walden Sports if he'd ever scored for us. He said no, but he'll take the 900 interceptions. This time he'll get his first goal. And it's uh, taken pretty well, instinctive. It's 2-1. Corner for Metro Gas, seven again. Lovely delivery, Tolu's first to the ball. It's uh, the seven playing it down the line. 11 has got too much space. George is gonna go out to him, tries to step over, gets away from George there and wins the free kick for them. Seven on the free kick, delivery's been good so far. That shot isn't great though. They're trying to get him behind with the number nine. I'm sure Tolu remembers that uh, challenge that was made on him there that's knocked his tooth back. Uh, looking to play one in behind for Sam. Uh, Sam with a good first touch, can't quite gather it though. And it goes to the keeper. It's free, just in front of the halfway line. He tried to find a pass into the 12. He can't uh, get that one under control. It's Reggie and Sam trying to get us on the break here. Reggie driving forward there. He's brought to ground by the number five as he's going towards the box. And uh, we're calling for something. The referee's just giving the free kick and I think it'll end at that. Actually, no, he's decided to brandish the card. I think it's just because of where he was on the pitch. 
Eze on the free kick, scored one good goal, and it's going to stay like that for now. Although they have what it takes to get back into the game. Tolu, strong play from him. Eric does well to sweep up as well. It comes back here to Tolu. Uh, skips away from the number nine, and he's got Sam out wide with him. If you can use him, Sam uh, picks up the ball. He's got Eze making a run forward. Uh, cuts inside away from the 11, looks to shoot, and it'll go out of an over the fence. We've played a ball, looking for Femi. Uh, Ford's missed it. Comes down here to Femi. Can he get a shot off here? Uh, Ford does well to recover. That's good defending. He's done well. Definitely not a penalty there. It's uh, with John at the back. He's uh, got Reggie in a little bit of room. Reggie takes a first touch there, takes one into danger, and uh, he has to be careful because some refs would just not give that. That is it for the first half. It's been a very interesting first half. Great start to the game by Metro Gas. We got back into the game, and since then, we haven't really allowed them to get a foothold on it. But it sets up for an interesting second half, and we can't wait for it. All right, listen in. Listen in. Listen, listen, listen. Sorry. Okay, honestly, yeah, our first 20 minutes wasn't good. Enough. Okay, and I'm only gonna say that because we fixed it. Mm -hmm. But honestly, boys, do we feel like we've even played? No. Yeah. Have we got the ball that have you what passes of the players have we played out there? Bro, they think no. They think that's all of us. Yeah, that's all what we have. We have. That's that's all, that's they might say we've had our spell. No, bro. They said do, that. Yeah, they said we're, we're, we're allowing spell. them to think yeah. that. Yeah. Again, yeah. there's times where we can play and no. then we don't for real. There's times where we can play and we don't want to play. And then when we shouldn't play, it's when we want to play. That doesn't make sense. We have to make it make more sense. Look how many people have come out here to see you lose. So you hear it when they scored. Bro. Yeah. And even when they oh, when, no, when someone slices something off the pitch, they're ready to see us fall. That's they've come out to see us. But we have to up the levels now. We know what we can do. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes why does it always take a goal for us to be like, yeah, like game on, like mm -hmm. we shouldn't be below their work rate. I said that's all they're gonna bring is work rate, man. We're so much better than this. <clears throat> But we have to start doing things with a bit more common sense. Let's enjoy the ball. The gap between Eric and Marcel and Eze is far too big. It's far too big. It's causing new problems, it's causing new problems, it's causing new problems. And there's times where you're both running into each other's space, where you're both like this, and it's killing you because their seven gets to pick up uh, the balls here, but also their 12 gets to pick up the second balls around here, which causes him to come out and gives them a lot more space in midfield. Which then is just literally one one v one with us and ours. Are we clear? Yeah. It's it's a game of like Manny said, is they're gonna work hard. They can do the basics, don't get me wrong, they can. And they're good at it. But like I said to you before before the uh, the first whistle went, we are the elite. You are the elite. You are winning four trophies in one season, five trophies in one season for a reason. There's a reason for it, it's not it's not fluke. It's not chance, it's not luck, it's because of the quality you lot have. But in these games here, chaps, yeah, leaving us like this will f*** us over so quickly. And I don't want it to happen. We know how, how good we are when we play into our front three and we let our front three attack and express themselves how many goals we can get. There's a reason why you've scored about 100 goals this year. You know, that's a stat. Yeah. But we are so good at what we do when we want to turn it on. Calm down. If you're not good, if you don't get it the first time, go again. Calm down. I don't want people coming off half time crying about not getting the ball. Calm down. The ball will come. It will come. We. How many chances have we created today? Honestly, three, four. Because we haven't done the basics. Do the basics. Find find Eze and Eric and find and let them go out wide. Find, let, find us in the mids. We're not playing through them, are we? Play through us in the mids. They have the ability. Literally. Calm. But this is what I'm telling you not to calm down because what we are doing is we're not getting the ball, we're getting frustrated. It happens. It happens, boys. But remember, our standard, we haven't even hit our standard yet. So let's lift it now. Okay? Yep. Last thing, we've got to stick together as a team because, fam, if we fall apart <coughs> and they're making all that noise, it's going to crumble. So let's stick together. Yeah, let's go. Fall this one. Yeah. No, I'm saying let's just stick together. Let's go. Right, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Going into the second half, we're making a change. Vance is coming on in place of Marcel. As I said before, a very good first half. We're hoping for more of the same in the second. And now we're in the ascendancy. It's uh, won back by Quams, then played to Femi. Now Sam Bailey looks to let Thomas through in behind the goal. Thomas looks to place it past the goalkeeper. And it's a good rushing save. Niner with it. Uh, tries to play it in field. Eze cushions it into the path of Vance. Vance looks to get us forward there. Eric has Sam with him now. Uh, the number three is looking to get Sam and slow him down. Uh, Sam has Eric making an overlap, plays it inside to Eze. Eze one touch into Thomas. Thomas trying to get the four off the board. Comes here to Femi and it's saved by the keeper again. Could have been 3-1.
It's a, a very good start to the second half from UTR. Eric gets away from the seven very easily. Looks to kite back to Thomas. Thomas thinking about the pass to Eze. Tries to turn there. Uh, good footwork here from Thomas. Keeps it alive and he can't direct it in between the posts. Sam working hard and chasing down the goalkeeper and the defender. The goalkeeper's forced to then kick it. Will it stay in play? Will it go out of play? Uh, Marth is going to have to let this bounce till it comes off the pitch. And uh, Marth said that he wasn't trying to control it. He was trying to let it go over the fence. What do you think? UTR corner, Sam on it, high, looking for the back post. Tolu tries to keep it in. Apparently he's done just about. It comes down here, number four's won the header and uh, it will go out for a throw. Tolu on the ball, uh, we've uh, pressured them in, really penned them back right now. It's Eric uh, up against the number 11. Eric looking to secure it, maybe try a bit of trickery. Oh my goodness, he's gone for an outside flip flap. Not really done too much here though. He's kept it alive still. Comes down here to Vance that is, trying to get under control and uh, we're gonna have to start again. Charging for the ball there as Vance is one there by the five. Number seven and Quam's going in for a challenge and compromising from both of them. Four on it for Metro Gas. Still yet to show us anything this half. Just over the hour mark played and the two is in behind here. Up against Quam's looks to get one across the box. And no one is home. Paul's just coming back to us. Uh, John's going to take it. 15's going to drag him to the ground. Absolutely no need for it to be honest. And he is going to get a yellow card. Another substitution for UTR, 110% uh, yet again given by Quams. you can't fault it, he gives you his best and when he's done, he's done. So Jed's going to come at left back. Corner for Metro Gas, looking deep, number four looks to keep it alive into the number eight. It's uh, an acrobatic attempt that's not really come off there, totally does well to step in and win the ball. It's over with the number seven, uh, runs under his boot though, Jed steps in, gets fortunate to get away from him, uh, taking the ankle of him, trying to take on this man here, cuts inside, clipped a little bit and continues, plays it into the feet of Thomas, Thomas has Sam making a run forward, Thomas looks to set Sam through, he's got Eric in the box as well, but it's not going to stay in. Play goes on, it's out here from the 15 to the 11, Eric goes sliding in there and they're not have with the challenge as a player free kick. The bench making a lot of noise. Eric letting them know what he feels about that. He's saying, calm down, relax, man. Not hearing it. Benny coming on for Thomas. He's played his part as well. A huge part in that first goal to bring us back into the game. And uh, yeah, Benny taking his place. Just over 15 minutes plus whatever additional time. Um, it's Eric and Eze playing little one-twos there. It's nice to see when they've got control of the game. It's a ball out wide here for Femi. That's a brilliant touch. Femi gets away from the five as well. Femi bearing down on goal, opens up his body and a bit too much maybe. He's gone for that far, far corner. And he's paid the price as well. He's missed it. He won't believe that. He won't want to see it again. Does really well initially, brilliant first touch, does well to win the challenge and he's just opened up a little bit too much. That could have been 3-1 and potentially game done. Unlucky though. UTR throwing uh, from Jed into Benny. Benny secures it up against the 14, gets one across. Nobody's there. A header to be one and George wins it. It doesn't really help us out though. Goes down to the 12. Tolu gets stuck in there and wins the ball off the 12. It's gone very quiet uh, this second half. We've been able to suss him out maybe. It's a ball in behind from Sam to Benny and it's straight to the keeper. It's uh, been played out wide to who I believe is the 15. He looks to find the seven. Vance gives the seven a little shove in the back. What do you guys think? Penalty or no penalty? Uh, nothing given by the referee and UTR look to play on. It's a ball forward from Sam to Benny. Yet again, just a little bit too much on it. But what do you guys think? Is that a penalty? Would you give that comment down below? I always like to see your guys' inputs on uh, what you think is a foul, what you think is not, what you think is the right decision and what you think is not. Vance with a little shove in the back there and I would be calling for it, I have to say that. I have to say it. Anyway, throw in, uh, Jed's gonna take that. It's uh, yet again into Benny. Five's gotten a bit too tight and you can't get tight to a strong man like Benny because he'll just hold you off, which he's done here. He's got Sam beckoning for the ball, cuts back onto the left, it's not a great shot and Sam is not pleased and rightfully so in my opinion. He's got maybe look to just set that to him. It's uh, Eric on the ball, being pulled back by the number eight. Still gets his pass off though. That's a fantastic touch from Vance to get away from his man there. Cuts inside away from the 14, sets it to Benny, who's running to traffic. Shouts from Metro Gas because one of their players was down. I didn't actually see it at the time. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what the problem was there. Uh, eventually, I'm sure he'll get back to his feet. Fred just coming back from injury. This is his first game back. He had a very good season for us, I have to say. Uh, he's making his way onto the pitch in place of Sam. Here we have the management team pretending that we know what we're talking about, just making a few changes and little decisions on how to see out the game. It's bouncing back to us, dealt with by Reg, thumped up the pitch, uh, brought down by the five, brilliant touch. I trust you to land my flight. Uh, this time, the five is under pressure there from Femi though. It's in here to Benny. Benny has Fred to his right. Can we punish them here? It's a loose touch from Fred. You can tell he's just coming back. He's done well to hold it up anyway, and he does win us a corner. Vance goes to take that corner, looks for a clip, straight out. 
going over the halfway line, met with by the two, comes here to Eze, who's got Fred in so much space, the game's opening up for us really as they're trying to throw numbers forward to get back into the game, it's Fred onto Femi, Femi into the box now, Femi what can he do, he's dragged this shot wide, oh my. Still time for Metro Gas. Remember, it's only 2-1. We've had a couple chances this half and we haven't taken them and that could lead us into a bit of trouble. This is good dribbling from this man here. Uh, leaves it onto the seven who knocks one around the corner. Uh, Jed coming across and he'll make a good challenge there. Seven still uh, going into battle and get the ball. Our number seven gets there, Femi. And then Jed's there to take on possession for UTR. Driving forward there. Good uh, challenge to stop him from the number eight. Benny wins the first ball in the air. Uh, Fred uh, looking to hold up his man and the first bit was good and the second, uh, well, it's rolling here. Reggie should surely just see this into the box for John to gather. He does and also does his best impression of Tom Daly. Splash. We are into the 90th minute. It's uh, Fred out wide. Will he take it to the corner? No, he looks to get into the box. It's into Benny and he goes to place it. It's offside anyway, so he's lucky really. Seven uh, looks out wide, trying to spray it. It's uh, cut out by George, who's had another solid game, to be fair. He's shown us uh, some composure there as he just knocks it back to John. Still not done. Seven on the ball. Metro Gas trying to drive forward and maybe inspire one last uh, attack. Uh, it's a great challenge there from George. Brilliant feat from Vance. Great composure from Vance. Driving out with the ball and carrying it. He's got Eze to his right. He's uh, got Jed, or is that Femi to his left? Uh, Vance still continue with the ball, and he's carried it a long way. That's that, He's made it look too easy there. It's out here to Fred. Fred, what can he do? Goes for the shot, and our decision making in the final third has been terrible. They're looking to restart, obviously, as quickly as possible. Uh, number four tries to get forward. It's cut out here by Fred. We've got Eze forward. Femi making a run there. Uh, Fred's going to look to find Femi, or is it Eze? Goes to Eze. He's lost his footing, and that's not good enough from us. Still time, we're into the 93rd minute. Number 11, a little bit too much space given to him there. It's a ball into the box, comes to the 12, and 12 opens up his body, but it's gone wide of the target. Jed slams the ground there, as he knows that could so easily have been 2-2. And but for his challenge, Reggie's going mad as well. How have we let that happen? Too much space for the 11, we've not closed that down. It's gone past Tolu there. Uh, Reggie's not gone there comes across and Jed with a last ditch challenge to stop that from nestling in the bottom corner. Corner for Metro Gas, swung into the box, keepers jump in and that'll go over the fence and out for a goal kick. As John takes the final kick there and it's 2-1 but just about in the end we almost lost it, had so many chances to kill the game, didn't take it and uh, we still come out with the result. On another day, it could have been different. Metro Gas, credit to them, uh, a real, real battle, and I'm sure we'll see them at some point maybe in the future. But yeah, that is it for another episode of Sunday League. Three out of three cup finals won uh, at VCD Athletic, and uh, it's a very, very good season overall. Yes, we'd have liked to get more. Yes, we'd have liked to go for a longer run in the London Cup, but still, I have to say, it's a decent season for us. Make sure to like the video, check out the UTR channel for fives, and also, if you wanna buy the kit, it's customizable, the link is down in the description below. That's it from me though, I'll catch you soon. Peace. Well done. 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 Well done.